right. I think I'll go and run myself a bath. Message then for when Rod rings me again. I could ask him what he wants me to do with all his clothes and stuff. Let me tell him that you want to talk. If he knew he hadn't blown this, you two could sort things out. What the hell's he doing here? Look, I, I just want to talk. That's all. I thought you was on your own, did you? Come to have another go with her? No, look, I, I would advise you to take one step into this place, mate. Diana. Please just go, will you? No. Not till I've sorted this whole stupid mess out. What are you? Aren't you told to stay away from here? You're on police bail, right? What's it to you? I'm a copper, aren't I? You shouldn't even be talking to me. If a husband had talked to her, I wouldn't be in this mess now, would I? Yeah, hey, husband, that must be my best mate. Yeah, well, he shouldn't have walked out on her, should he? She wouldn't have come to me for comfort. Oh, and you gave it to him, didn't you? Look, it wasn't how it looks. It was, you know it was! Peter, what the hell do you think you're doing down there? Leave it, Dad, I'll sort this bloody mess out and it kills me. Yeah, well, it's just my job. Yeah. How would you stop it, Belder? Yeah, as bad as a husband, you all this macho crap. If you just came out of your bloody cave long enough to listen, you might understand. Smart lad, eh? Smart lad. Pity all right, all right. All right, all right. All right, that's enough. I said that's out. enough. You home. I said home. I'll say yes. I think you better go as well. All this nonsense you've been saying about our Peter. Just you get on the phone to the station if he comes back on you again. Rod won't come back unless you make the first move, you know. 